salvation. If it's not about being saved, then who cares? And I don't mean just in that single, you know, sort of um, um, trite sense. I mean, if, if what we have to offer is not more real than the reality people live, which is so unreal. It, you know, we talk, about that, we talk about this in the class. It, it, our people come to hear on Sunday morning what's going on, or whenever they come to hear preaching, and they wake up in, in these lives that so often feel unreal. You know, I am... Um, You wake up in the morning and you punch a clock, you know, or, and you go to a job that you hate, or you come home to kids that you're not sure how to talk to anymore, and you, and you, and you go to bed looking at this person you've been living with for 20 years, and you think, do I even, you know, and, all, and it's just nothing um, for so many people just turns out to not be, is this real? Is this my life? Is this it? And yet you talk to me about this, this vision, this, this, um, this word with a capital W, this gospel of something out here and you tell me this is more real, well, can you show me? Can you describe it so that I, I can? And it is. And so this, I think preachers, we have this dual thing. We have to, we have to not only describe the life our people are li living and, and describe this life that we hold out there that is, is here but not yet in, in such a way that people can recognize and see what the real, what the essence of the real is. If what we have to offer people is, is, you know, is just enlightening or interesting or um, witty or diverting, then who cares? There are plenty of people who do that far better than we ever can. Mm -hmm. um, if what we have to offer invites people into a journey, a reality that is more real than anything that this life has to offer, then, then what are we about?